Hey, welcome to uh, Chaplain Chat. Um, today's July, uh, July 14th. I'm in my office and I wanted to do a quickie Chaplain Chat. And I've been enjoying reading a new book. It's Charles, Charles Wendall wrote it. It's called The Church Awakening, An Urgent Call for Renewal. And uh, I've been sharing this book, this theme, this idea with those in and out of the jail. And it's a reminder again, really call what is the church? You know, if we think the church is that, just that place we go to on Sunday, and it could be, but we, if we think that's just it, we've missed the church. What is the church today? The body of Christ, the bride of Christ. And in his chapter, one of his chapters, he, he reads, he talks, he shares a passage Jesus says. And I want to read to you. It's in Matthew uh, 5, excuse me, Matthew 16, verses 13 through 17. But it's familiar. This is where Jesus asks the disciples, who do people say I am? And if you remember, uh, they'll say, well, some say you're like Elijah. Or some say you're like Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Uh, some say you're a great teacher. And then he looks at them and says, okay, but who do you say I am? Who do you say I am? And Simon Peter gets up. If you remember, this is a Matthew uh, 17. He says, you, he says, you are the Christ. You are the son of the living God. And Jesus says, way to go, Simon, or blessed are you, Simon, for you. this wasn't revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And then verse 18, he says this, and I tell you, Peter, on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Well, Chuck Swindoll, he pulls out five statements from that comment. Jesus says, I will build my church. When he says, I, that means make no mistake about it. He is the originator of the church. It's his idea. He protects it. He leads it. He is the head. When he says, will, uh, the word looks toward the future. Because when Jesus said this, the church hadn't been around yet. Pentecost, it's going to start. It doesn't say, I have built it, but I will build it. But the word build comes up. Build is, it's a term, it's a term suggests not only the beginning, but it's an ongoing process. We are a work in process. The church is always at work in process. If we think we've arrived, if we think the church has arrived, then we become an institution. And that's not what the church is, you know. I will build my, the word affirms ownership and authority. He is the head. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the dude. And then the last word is church. I will build my church. Um, the word church, actually, it's interesting. In Matthew's gospel, this might have been the first time actually Jesus uses the word church. Interesting. Church. Church. Uh, it means called out. And I'm going, oh yeah, that's right. It doesn't mean come in. It means called out. When I was a little kid, we used to do this. Maybe you did it too. Remember you'd go, here's a church. Here's a steeple. Open the door and in come the people. Maybe it should be this way. Here's the church. Here's the steeple. Open the doors and out go the people. We are called to be the body of Christ. We are called to be be going out. Now you probably hear my music because that's my phone. I'll answer it in a minute. But I want to wrap up this chaplain chat that we are called to be the bride of Christ, the body of Christ. And Jesus says, I will build my church. Well, God bless. See you next time on Chaplain Chat. And I'll share some more from Chuck Swindoll's book. An urgent call we need to hear today. God bless. God bless.